My name is Bob Steininger and I am the revolutionary shuttle manager for Valley Forge National Historical Park. This is the third year of the shuttle service. There are two shuttles. They start at 11 a.m. The first one starts at 11 a.m. The second one starts at 11.20. Um, so there's about 20 minutes between the shuttles at any one stop and they run from uh, 11 to 6 p.m. So the last shuttle will finish at 6 p.m. They make nine stops throughout their, their, their loop. They start at the visitor center lower parking lot, then they come up to the front of the visitor center. From there they loop back to the uh, outer line drive and the first stop on that is Muhlenberg's Brigade. From there they go to the National Memorial Arch, then to Wayne's Woods, and then they loop around and cut across to the inner loop drive and stop at Artillery Park, and then on to Washington's headquarters, and there to von Steuben's statue, and then to the Washington Memorial Chapel, and then back to the beginning at the Visitor Center Lower Park. You know, the interior of the park, there's definitely some interesting parts uh, to visit, like Muhlenberg's Brigade is a very uh, popular uh, stop where they do a lot of the reenactment and so forth, so a lot of people go there. And it's just, with the um, a lot of people doing the trail, it follows the Joseph Paul Martin Trail, I think, on especially a hot day or if the weather turns bad, it's nice to have a way back to your vehicle if you were caught out there. So I think with, with the return to the longer loop, it'll, it'll definitely improve the ridership.